I think this thing of the silence, you know, the holding hands and silence, I think it's brilliant because sometimes silence is so much louder than words, you know, and I, I just love the idea of it. I think it's absolutely great. Like the world is such an amazing place and no matter where you go there will always be peace, love and war. War may hide in the shadows but it's everywhere and you have to make the small changes if you want to make the big ones and I think for many starting is the difficult part. Where to begin and where to go with it. If you look at any of the great peace leaders in the world, they all started from their local, from Martin Luther King, um, uh, Nelson Mandela, they all started local. Yeah, so we're trying to start here in school and then hopefully in the Gory, Wexford, the whole of Ireland. And hopefully then, if when we when we get this done and we uh, go to the UN, uh, we will hopefully reiterate what everyone has said over the past number of years, that peace is primary. It is peace is what we need. Hello everybody, you're all very welcome and this is a very unusual celebration we have today. I think it's the first time we've released uh, doves into the air in the school, so it's a great occasion. And now I'm going to pass you over to our school chaplain, Miss Mulcahy, to give you information and to explain about the whole process. Thank you. Okay, thanks everybody. Uh, you can't miss in the news, the news on Syria. You can't miss in the news that there's conflict around the world. You can't miss in the news that there are people who aren't happy in themselves. So what this event is about is about looking at peace. And we've chosen to go peace from the inside out. And it really is lovely to see Rosemary from Instruments of Peace here and also representing Console. We're going to have the doves released. And Console is a wonderful organization who've been involved with this school who are spreading peace from the inside out. And I really thank them for giving us the doves for this release today. So we're getting involved, as you hear, on the 20th of September, 1,555 students will be out the front of the building, standing in three spirals, and we're going to have a minute silence to bring our minds to peace. I'm just asking you, does peace deserve a minute? And do you have the time to give that minute, to bring that message? So I'm going to invite Rosemary from Instruments of Peace just up to tell you a little bit about what she is doing with us today. Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for this warm welcome from the largest secondary school in Ireland. It's such a great honor to be here with you today. And we are so excited to know that you, the school, is organizing something very special this year. What we will do on the 20th of September here in your school will be the opening of the second World Peace Weekend Festival in Ireland. And it is going to be a very special celebration because this year, not like last year, we only did it in Dublin. This year we are connecting three cities. And I have announced it to people, I have announced it for the UN circles, that we will open the second World Peace Weekend Festival in Wexford, here at your school. And they know about it already at the UN circles, and so it's so inspiring to see that already on the third day of the opening of the school year, there's already a great spirit, great excitement taking place here. One of your students, I asked to be the model to carry this poster. What's your name? Kiran. You will see here, please join us in creating Ireland's World Peace Festival. Now, it's not easy to create a festival, but we took courage to say, yes, in Ireland, we're going to create our own World Peace Festival weekend festival. 1,550 students plus staff plus perhaps your parents plus family members maybe if they all come to join you here 
you'll make a really great impact for the rest of the world. Why? Because we will document it with Kairos Communications here with us. Your event will go all over the world. The, the images and the things you do here will be shown all over the world through the UN Web TV on that day. So I welcome you all to the first step of this year's second World Peace Weekend Festival. And once again, thank you for your great enthusiasm and for the inspiration you gave us. personal peace and then there's world peace and as Miss Mulcahy said like it's there to start off a personal peace because if you're happy with yourself first then you won't mind if you have a bad day or if you're unhappy because you're at peace so I think to start off here is a good idea because you're showing everyone like from first year to sixth year in this school that to have your own personal peace is good and, and I think we've taken it for granted because for hundreds of years no. Ireland never had peace we never had freedom, but we've had it for so long now that nobody really thinks about it. It's just something that we may have lost. Maybe we don't deserve it, that we've just taken it for granted, but it's just something that everyone should have. 